All right, guys, so I was doing another walkthrough over here at the Illinois show, and uh, you guys know how I love things with flashy lights, push buttons, and new features. And that's one of the crazy things is uh, normally I walk by Daytrend, and I, I haven't really stopped by to investigate their products, but one thing really caught my eye, I had to stop. So let's go ahead and take a look at their product lineup and see some of this new stuff that's sitting here on the table I've never seen before. Um, maybe you guys can chime in if you've ever used it, but uh, I'm, I'm really curious because this looks like a, a simple, smaller solution. Let's do that. All right, here we are. QRS Solutions booth. I walked by really quick because there's people over here talking before. But so this right here is a product I've never had my hands on before. Um, but at the same time, I have seen this at many shows and it is built out of a ruggedized case which is super cool if you're a deployable technician. And you can see that the tablet is the basis of their uh, entire system and it, things will Bluetooth to it so you can uh, do your ports and whatnot. Um, oh my goodness. Now I really like that um, because the tablet will not booger off and get broken. Now this, this cable right here might be a little, maybe a little, no, no, it feels like it's actually good quality. So um, you see, receptacle is in the middle. We have an IEC, that is a 20 amp IEC. You got your ground, it's fused, excellent. I love how every single port is labeled. That's my problem, you guys know with some other manufacturers is uh, they're not labeling their stuff. Um, we got spring-loaded ECG and what are some of the other functions we got here? We got V1, C1, AP5, okay, they're twist blocks. So you got the through and then you got the, the top snaps. That's very cool. And let's see, okay, you got your standard over here. We've got auxiliary test jack. The auxiliary test jack, is that for doing point to point tests? Is that what that one is? It's, it's a different, it's for a different type of uh, leakage current test. Okay, right. Okay, what's the Xbox for? Uh, the Xbox allows you to communicate and connect to other Daytrend devices. Okay. So then you can do your safety test and your other, other functional test together on a single unit. Wow. Look at that display, guys. Now, it is tablet based, which has uh, you know some really good advantages, not really too many disadvantages. The, the advantage is that it is a faster processor than you'll see in many other uh, manufacturers because tablets are just inherently faster. Um, it's probably got a multi-core tablet uh, processor in it. Um, Android OS based, I can tell based on the buttons. That's cool. High resolution. It's very bright. We're, we're kind of in a dark room, but you can tell that it's very bright and vibrant, and I can read it from a distance. I love large numerics. You guys know that. We've got large test buttons here on the display, and the unit is sitting at a natural angle that's very comfortable to use. I love it. But guys, that is not why I stopped over here. This is super cool. I'd love to have one. But look at this guy. The VPad A1. It is a phone-based Android system, but it's modular. And I, I, you guys know how I feel about you know cables. Cables are areas where things get damaged. But there are solutions for even that because Bluetooth. You can de-cable this guy and you can Bluetooth to and from the device, and it works fine. So really interesting. Um, the SPO2 is an attachment. This is the uh, NIBK simulator. Can you show us how it disconnects, please? Absolutely. So if I wanted to, I would power off the device, and I can simply press on the, the, the release latch and separate the units. So oh, cool. if the technician does not need the NIBP, they just need some patients, and they can use this. If they just need the SPO2, they can separate this further. Now, so what, I, what does this module do? This is the base module. This is okay. the controlling the battery, right. the Bluetooth. This is all in here. Okay. And then this is the layer for the patient sim, so your respiration, uh, I, IBP, and okay. car, cardiac output if you want to connect to that. So okay. in addition to that, I don't have today, but we also have an entitled CO2 simulator. Oh, nice. So then this can actually be connected to the additional module. Okay. That's interesting. Now, guys, you guys know I'm 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 very critical on things. Um, obviously, we're going wireless for many features. I would love to see that this guy would Bluetooth and be wireless. But uh, the fact that I can fit it all in one little backpack, 
Uh, my tool bag probably is super cool. Now we also have, look at this little guy. I have not seen this one before. I can already see the different modules. So uh, this is a ventilator tester. That's and correct. unfortunately we're at, at a crazy angle. So you can't see how bright the display is, but it, it does have a nice resolution to it. And it's got all your numerics right there. Very easy to use interface. And I can tell you it is, any of these, I got low flow and high flow, right? You got it. So we got high flow sensor, low flow sensor. I don't okay. have it here today. We have ox obviously oxygen sensor. Okay. And also anesthesia gas testing using the maximum multi gas. So the uh, the O2 would be external, the the main unit. So Correct. the main unit is. Uh, oh, there we go. All right. So you got pressures. Yeah. Three sets of differential pressure. There's an option for a 10 bar high pressure sensor. Oh, oh wow. Your, your O2 sensor goes in here and then your flow sensor gets connected here. Wow, 10 bar is really high, guys. <laughs> That's like line pressure plus. Very cool. That's amazing. And then also, you guys know, um, we've got the uh, ESU analyzer, which is also tablet based. Now, can I use this guy without that tablet with that base unit over Excellent there? Excellent question. Yes, absolutely. And that's actually the advantage because the biomass have to do what? They have to do electrical safety, right. functional test, and the checklist, right? Right. So you can actually have this removed. You can communicate by Bluetooth and talk to that tablet so that you can do your checklist and your functional test of ESUs all together in one, in one test sequence. See? Now, if you guys remember, my original critic of this is that the tablet will just booger off. Like it, you, in order to use it, the tablet has to be snapped in there. But that's because the product was actually designed to be utilized with a base unit like this, because you're gonna have to do electrical safeties and you know you got ECG and everything on there anyway. That makes it a much more practical system and probably more durable than almost any other manufacturer because it's all in hard cases. Very cool. Now, the other thing that you guys know is I've been critical of some other manufacturers because they're not labeling the port. Port to port relation is extremely important. Not just the label of the port, but we actually like when they have its, its range. Like right here, you can see it's got zero to 1,023 ohms. So I know between this port and this port, they have the symbol for a variable resistor. That is my variable resistant port. Some other manufacturers just have like colors, yellow and yellow, and they don't say what the hell those ports do. I have always appreciated that these guys label their ports along with schematic symbols which give us as engineers uh, a relation to what that port really does. I love it. And also we have an infusion analyzer, right? That's correct. So this is the latest release. Now you spoke about modular setup. Yeah. This device is uh, just designed for that. It can be configured to up to six channels. Okay. What? Holy cow. So that means that if you need to get one calibrated, you could ship it out and you're not down. Exactly right. Holy cow, that's yeah. actually very so cool. So I can expand this up to six channels. I mean, there's probably a better representation over here. Oh, wow. And I can do concurrent testing between all the channels. Very cool. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go because they're going to do an announcement. So.